most of you to go from the way we speak to buenos dias. It's too much of a leap. How do Brits say hello? We don't say good day or howdy, how are you doing? <laughs> Alrighty then. We don't speak like that. Brits say hello like this. All right, I'm all right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, 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 I'm posh. Uh, hey, all right, I'm fucking all right, all right, I'm fucking all right. Uh, we speak with a horn if we fucking could. <laughs> Impossible. That's why you're so self-conscious. Like a lot of Brits, we sort of stood there like that while we're having a conversation. It's sort of just vibrating with embarrassment the whole time. That's why it's so hard to be romantic. It's bad enough if you speak English in your country. Imagine speaking English with a British accent. It's almost like an inoculation against fucking romance. I feel sorry for the <laughs> women of this country. <laughs> English is a blocky language to start with. If you listen to it, like foreigners describe it as sounding like, you know, like bricks going down. There goes a noun, adjective, grout it, next sentence. Noun, adjective, verb, grout, next sentence, right? <laughs> That's how it sounds. So to be romantic, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. I mean, if you, ever, you know when a middle class person's about to be romantic, it's like they've been injected with a serum or something. Something, <laughs> something's coming, give it a second. <laughs> Or like someone from around my way, like from a council estate in Essex. Do you love me or not, Gary? Have a look at the fucking Mini Cooper on the drive. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Jericho, sake. Like when men don't say the L of love. I love you. You too, don't I? <laughs> two. two. Say it. You. I'm saying I'm you, don't I? <laughs> Does anyone else feel like shit? You know, like when an Italian person walks in, a beautiful Italian man or woman, you just feel like crap, don't you, if you're rich? Like, I can't compete. It is the language of, it's the most opposite of English that I can find, flowing and wonderful. Buongiorno, principessa. Yeah? To hear, I love you in Italian. Ti amo. How beautiful. Yeah? Ti amo. It's like it, it's like it matches the emotion. Ti amo. Wouldn't you love to hear that, madam? What's your name? Sharon. Sharon? I don't think you'll work with Sharon. <laughs> I'll give you a fucking go. <laughs> the worst name. Ti amo. Sharon. Yeah, <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> is that an Italian name? I know. <laughs> but it is beautiful, though, isn't it, Shaz? Like, ti amo. Yeah. An Italian man will actually dislocate his jaw if he's enough in love. Ti amo. You see, Sharon, how much I love you. My jaw is broken. <laughs> it couldn't be more different to how the poor Englishman is forced to declare his love. If you'd like to come through to the conservatory, please, Carol, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> I love you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's how we have sex as well, by the way, Valerie. Sorry, sorry, dear. 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 Sorry, sorry. Nigel Farage. That's what we cry <laughs> all over. That's the cry all over.